Now next year IPv4 has been divided into certain classes. Okay. Range, total range we know 0, 0, 0, 0 till 255, 255, 255. Okay. So your IPv4 has been divided into certain classes. So let's go with IPv4 classes. <clears throat> so total five classes are there. Class A, Class B, Class C, Class D, and Class E. These are the five classes. Okay. If you want to identify the class of your IPv4, okay. If you want to identify the class of an IPv4 address, just focus on the first octet. Okay. IPv4 class can be identified by looking at the first octet. Means by looking at the value in the first octet. Whatever is the value, depending on that, we can decide okay which class it is. Okay. So for classes, we will just focus on the first octet. We do not care what is there in the second, third, or fourth octet. Just by looking at the first octet, we can decide, okay, this is class A, this is class B, this is class C, D, and E. Okay. Now, how do we identify? So, means there has to be some range of the first octet by looking at which we can identify that, okay, this is class A, B, C, D, E. Right? Okay. So, in case of class A, this range is 120. So, in case of class B, Till 191, 192, 223, 224, 239, then 240, till 255. Correct. Okay. These are what first octet values. Here you can see this side we have class and this is the first octet value. So by looking at these values, we can know that okay, this is class A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, so if I give you an address here, let's say for example 1.2.3.4, which class? A. If I give you 223.1.1.5, mm -hmm. see, if I give you 223.255, 255, 255, still see, okay, 172.16.1.10, mm -hmm. B, 244.1.1.5, mm -hmm. for example. B. B. What about two five five zero zero one mm. class? Mm -hmm. So you see, just by looking at the first octet, we can decide that okay, which class it is, right? Okay. So this range, this first octet value range, this is randomly decided. Is it randomly decided, or there is some logic behind it? Cannot randomly decide. There is a logic. Okay, what is the logic? Let's see. See total how many classes? Five classes A, B, C, D, and E. So, first of all, when class A was getting designed, what happened that time? They reserved total eight bits are there in the first, first octet, so they reserved a bit. And they said that the first bit will always be zero. It cannot be manipulated. We cannot change this bit. If the first bit is zero, that means this is class A. Okay. Now remaining bits. If we calculate the minimum value and maximum value, what well, see what can be the minimum value of all the bits? Zero. zero. Only two possibilities. Total eight bits done. 
if I calculate this thing in the decimal, what will be the value? Zero. Then this bit is still reserved. That means fixed. We cannot manipulate this bit. Then after what can be the maximum value for remaining bits? One. What will be the binary, I mean decimal value? That I already said 127, but how do you calculate? Of course, this will be 127. See, let me tell you easy trick. See, remember the shortcut method? We have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Okay. So if I write this binary value here, like 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 see, like this. So always remember, see, this is 128. After 128, all are what? One. Value will be always minus 1. See, if after 2, all are 1, that means value will be 2 minus 1. What will be the value? 1. After 4, if these two are 1, 2 plus 1, 3. After 16 or after 8, if all are 1, 4 plus 2 plus 1. So this value will be always minus 1. If after 128, all are 0, that will be 127. If after 64, all are 0, 63. If after 32, all are 1, 31. After 16, all are 1, 15. You can calculate 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. 50. Okay. So here we see, okay, this is 128. After this, all zero, all 1. That means 127. Okay. Like this, you can calculate. Now see. When class B was getting designed, So in case of class B, what they did, this time they reserved two bits. They reserved two bits and they said the first bit will always be one and second bit will always be zero. This is fixed. Okay. And the remaining bits, if you calculate the minimum value, eight bits done, only one there is done. That is 128. Then after, remaining bits maximum value, one, that is, now you see 128, 64, after 64, all are one. So 128 plus 63, that is 191. Because when we add 128 plus 64, that is 192. That means minus one, okay. Then next we have class C. When class C was getting designed, three bits were reserved. That was one, one and zero. Okay. And remaining bits minimum value. Zero. What is the value here? 192. Then after Still reserved. What is the value? So 128 plus 192 plus 224, but minus 1, 2, 2, 3. Okay. Then we have class D. In class D, 4 bits are reserved. And minimum value. So this will be 2 to 4. Maximum value. That will be 2, 3, 9. Class E. Now when class E was designed, still 4 bits were reserved. Okay, and minimum value that is two four zero. Maximum value two 
all ones. So this will be two five five. So this is how the classes and the range were divided. Okay. No.